Hey there, Facebook fans. How are you? Gus Wagner here uh, from The Rocket Group, president and owner of The Rocket Group. I wanted to talk to you about uh, something that's a couple things that's going on uh, in the world right now. And the big news in social media today is the possible sale of Twitter. Who do you think is going to buy Twitter? Um, leave your comments and answers, thoughts down in the comments below. And uh, we can talk about that as we move forward. I think Facebook's kind of a dark horse to buy Twitter, but we'll see. And always remember that Twitter was a Missouri-born company uh, to uh, Jack Dorsey's from St. Louis, and the, uh, it kind of started in his basement when he was in high school. Want to talk about that? Ask me about that history in the comments below as well. The other thing I want to talk about is this week was Talk Like a Pirate Day. Arg, right? Uh, I don't know if you celebrated that or even recognized that, but it's a reminder of the kind of weird and wacky holidays that uh, people celebrate. Um, sometimes it's centered around drinking, sometimes it's centered around commercial activities like sales, President's Day sales on mattresses and what have you. Um, let's talk about a couple different things uh, when it, in regards to those type of holidays. So again, last Monday was Talk Like a Pirate Day. Um, it's something that uh, we've kind of always uh, been aware of. Uh, I've always kind of tried to tie it into Roberto Clemente, the great Pittsburgh pirate and his charitable efforts. I made a couple tweets about that uh, as, as Talk Like a Pirate Day was going on uh, last Monday. Um, it's just a fun holiday. A couple of guys started it. Uh, it was some sort of deal about somebody's ex-wife, actually. And uh, I'll put a link in the comments below about the history of Talk Like a Pirate Day so you can get that history. Uh, did you do anything for last Monday's Talk Like a Pirate Day for your business, your organization, your nonprofit, whether it was internal or external for your internal employees and customers for, and your external customers and prospects. Talk about that in the comments below as well if you have anything you'd like to share about your Talk Like a Pirate Day um, experiences. There's other examples out there, of course, uh, about these kind of crazy holidays. Uh, a couple of them come to mind are Pi Day, 314, March 14th, uh, celebrating the Pi Math medical uh, figure 3.1497 something 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 I don't know all those numbers um, so you see th people having sales on pizzas and pizza uh, and pies pie shops having sales and different things that are related to that uh, type of uh, uh, element another one that's fun that's kind of creeped up over the last couple of years is May the 4th May the 4th be with you Star Wars Day on May 4th every year. Uh, people celebrate that, just have some fun with it, have costume contests for their businesses, different opportunities like that, some different ways you can adapt a different kind of holiday. And of course, the granddaddy of them all would be Black Friday, a non-religious and non-official holiday, uh, the day after Thanksgiving, when of course everything is, rose, prices raise 100% and then are slashed 50% for people to buy the first day of Christmas shopping season. So there's different holidays like that that you can celebrate. Are there any other things out there uh, regarding uh, made-up holidays that you would like to share how your business, your organization, your nonprofit is celebrating or incorporating into your marketing plan? There's different types of opportunities uh, about that. And share your thoughts and your history in the comments below as well. Um, of course, you get into the real holidays. And real holidays <clears throat> can be a, t uh, a sensitive subject. You get into the religious holidays, Christmas, Easter, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, Passover, things like that, uh, holidays like that. Um, so if your audience uh, celebrates those, that's something you might want to consider. Uh, most of these holidays have become secularized, uh, so they are adapted by the overall uh, population. So uh, having a Christmas sale or being closed on Christmas uh, is not a bad idea for most businesses. Uh, organizations and nonprofits, but uh, you, you have to be aware of your customer base. You have to be aware of the prospect base. How are these uh, recognizing official religious holidays going to reflect upon your professional efforts? Uh, then you get into the uh, national holidays here in America, of course, 4th of July. Uh, we just had Patriots Day on 9 11 uh, last week. Some of these holidays are very solemn occasions, so it's not something that you want to tie uh, sales and commercialism into. Uh, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, uh, Patriot Day, like we just had uh, last week, uh, just recognize that. If those aren't really celebrations. Those are more of recognitions uh, and solemn occasions. So I would not ever recommend doing anything regarding uh, commercialism, uh, outright marketing uh, with that. What we usually do with clients like that is we just put up a nice message. We've got a video that we produced uh, shows some flags waving, American and Missouri flags waving. Uh, we put different uh, filters on that video. 
video for different holidays, be they uh, solemn holidays or more joyous holidays like 4th of July, and we use that uh, to recognize those holidays. Uh, so that's my, something you might want to consider um, for your own marketing efforts. And then you've got niche holidays and uh, things that are different uh, uh, recognitions of different industry sectors or employment sectors, Teacher's Day, uh, Medical Professionals Day. There's always some sort of uh, professional day or recognizing a professional segment of the population uh, pretty much every day of the week, I would say. Uh, so there's, we've worked into a couple different ones. We've, had, we've recognized teachers, we've recognized educators, we've recognized secretaries and bosses day uh, for clients. Uh, we've worked in uh, medical professionals. I think I might have said that. Uh, we work a lot in the utility industry in the electric, uh, electricity field. So we recognize line workers and getting, going back to the office professionals day uh, with, with those type of folks. Those type of things can be your Super Bowl. Uh, Lineman's Day specifically was uh, kind of the, the Super Bowl of our year, celebrating the guys who were up there on the, on the, the poles and the lines during all types of weather. And the, uh, the audiences that saw that content just exploded. And, and you know, hashtag thank a lineman uh, is something that's ongoing, but it takes a lot of, uh, uh, it gets a big boost on Lineman's Day, uh, which is, uh, I believe, uh, anyway, it was earlier this year. And I just lost my light. <laughs> How about that? The joys of live uh, streaming video here. My battery just went out on my, on my uh, LED light. So anyway, uh, if you've got something like that in your profession, whether it's Dennis Day, uh, if you want to cater specials to attract those professionals in or recognize the professionals and your customer base or your employee base who are in the different segments of these special recognized holidays for different professions, that's a great way to uh, get people involved in the real world and on the internet, recognizing those folks, taking the pictures, showing behind the scenes, and posting that to Facebook, Twitter, what have you. And now I'm getting a phone call. So <laughs> it's very, uh, uh, everybody must know I'm here on the live streaming right now. Um, and then we look at different things like theme weeks. Right now, uh, here, we're working on two different uh, themes this week with uh, clients, and it's a uh, farm safety week. And it's a thanks for the like there. I missed who that was. Appreciate that. Uh, Farm Safety Week and uh, National uh, Preparation Week uh, with the uh, Federal Emergency Management Association. Uh, those are two things we're working on right now here in September and this week uh, to promote safety and safety awareness and emergency preparedness. There's all kinds of different ones. There's 52 weeks in a year. There's a different week pretty much every. Uh, thanks for the like there. Keep that going. Any questions or comments, feel free to type them out there. You add a comment or send a uh, comment there uh, below this post. And I'd be glad to try to answer that while we're here in the live stream or afterwards if you're not watching this live. Uh, so there's all types of different weeks going on. There's always uh, something happening. We're actually going to put a link below this in the, in the uh, uh, comments below that it's going to be a list from our friends at Track Maven of different holidays and different celebrations and different weeks that go on in different months uh, that are celebrating different things uh, for various professions that you can use for your business organization or nonprofit to attract attention, have great social media content, and uh, bring more people in to do business with you. Um, so you got the thing about all these holidays uh, and such, use things that work for you to get these people, these online audiences, these prospect audiences, people on your email list, to get them in your door and spending money with you. And now my battery's low. I'm getting all sorts of notifications here uh, while doing this live video. This is great. <laughs> so anyway, um, do things that bring value to your audience, your customer base, your prospect base. Get them involved. Get, help them to build a better connection with the people that work for you or that you work with. Get them to be more aware of the types of folks that you work with, like we've talked about with the electrical folks, the uh, education folks, different professional uh, segments that we work with that I've mentioned here in this video. Um, if you are in the food business, you again, you can bring uh, have specials, have uh, half price appetizers or something on uh, Plumber's Day and invite those folks in, promote that, have a promotion leading up to it, uh, you know, celebrate things that are internal for you as well as uh, whether it's birthdays of your internal audience, uh, birthdays of your customers, birthdays uh, of your company, anniversaries of your company, you know, we're 20 years in business, we're 100 years in business, throw a big gala, throw a big party, throw an appetizer special, something like that. Incorporate these things into your marketing message and be able to get those messages out across 
across social, across the internet, and across your real world uh, audiences as well. So bring that in. And again, always mix it up, always keep it going. So you're bringing value and continuous value to the people that you're trying to reach and you're trying to get to do business with you or at least be aware of your efforts. So it's a quick learning kind of overview uh, on how to handle holidays, bring holidays and special occasions into your marketing. Um, I hope you found it a little bit valuable. I hope you found it a little bit interesting and love to hear your stories about what you're doing with your specific special holidays and such. Again, look for the links that I'm going to put in the comments below this video. And if you have any questions at any time, feel, reach, feel free to reach out to us. I'd be glad to help you to launch your success story very, very soon. So I'm Gus Wagner. I own The Rocket Group. And we will talk to you here on Facebook Live again real soon. Thanks a lot.